Okay, this is problem is about valuation allowance. So the problem says Chong Inc. computed taxable income of 11000 for the first year, year of its operations ended December 31st, 2011. Tax depreciation exceeded depreciation for financial reporting purposes by 24000 Receipt of $13,000 in cash was reported as revenue for tax purposes, but is reported as a current liability as unearned revenue for financial reporting. The enacted tax rate for 2011 and all future years is 35%. So we're going to prepare the journal entries to record income taxes for 2011 and assume it is more likely than not that the future taxable income will be sufficient to allow for the full realization of any deferred tax assets. So our first entry is to compute the taxable or the income taxes for this $11,000 so it's pretty easy it's just 11,000 times 35 percent that's 3850 this is income taxes payable and income taxes expense for 2011 then our next entry is this right here this is for a deferred tax liability so the twenty four thousand um, dollars of tax depreciation since this lower taxable income Chong pays less in taxes now but he'll pay more later which results in a deferred tax liability of 8400 Then this deferred tax asset, 13000 times 35% is 4550 This is for the $13,000 in cash Chong received as unearned revenue. And this results in Chong paying more taxes now but less later, meaning a deferred tax asset. And then if we go to number two, Repeat number one, assuming that it's more likely than not that all future taxable income will be zero, exclusive of the expected reversal of, dep of the depreciation temporary difference. And if you think that through, all entries would be the same because if future taxable income was zero, the taxable income from 2011 and the deferred tax liability can be used with the carry back provision. This would be enough to realize the entire amount of the deferred tax asset.